Hi ladies. Okay, so I've had a few requests um, to talk about the things I love for TTC. So that's what I thought I would talk about today. Um, as you know, I'm currently in my 11th cycle TTC. Um, October is emotional month for me as well. Um, I lost my baby, my angel baby, 12 months ago on the 7th of October. So it would be an anniversary month as well, which is kind of hard. So I would especially love to fall pregnant this month. Um, so fingers crossed. But I'm talking about things I love to use while TTCing. Um, I know that many of you use um, like Fertility Friend and stuff like that. The main uh, chart I use is an app on my iPhone. I've been using it since I got my iPhone. Uh, it's called Period, Period Tracker. So you can see that. Glare. It's called Period Track Tracker and it's really good. Um, you can add notes, you've got a calendar, your period log, your charts. Um, if you go into your calendar, which is there, sorry it's not focusing. Um, if you go into your calendar you can just like list everything that your cycle and ovulation and everything. And it's just the main one that I use. So that is the chart I use to keep track of um, my cycles. I don't temp. Um, I have tried numerous times, but because I'm up and down most of the night and I don't get enough sleep, my temperatures are so up and down that I just don't get a consistent reading. So unfortunately, I don't temp. Um... Most of you use OPKs. I do too. I love OPKs. I don't know where I would be. I'm a POAS addict. Um, I've tried so many brands in 11 cycles that I've been TTCing. And I would have to say you get what you pay for. Unfortunately, the best one, I don't have the box, but the best one is the Confirm. It's like a kit and you get five OPKs and a pregnancy test. And in Australia, they're about... Seventeen, eighteen dollars for the kit, but the OPKs are fantastic. They're the only ones that can pick up my ovulation. And I don't know if that's because I've got like a hormone issue that my um, my surge isn't as strong as other other women's surges. But for some reason, these ones are the best. And I'll just like open one for you. It's a cassette style OPK, which I love. And so you get the cassette, you get five little cups to pee in, and a little dropper. And it always picks up. They're the ones you've seen on my vlogs, my previous vlogs too. Um, but I thought I'll try, I always try the internet cheapies as well. And this one I've got one from Fertility to Family. I haven't tried them before, this will be the first cycle I'll be trying them. And it's just a basic here on a stick test. They're really thin though. Like, that is like so super thin. Sorry. That is like crazy. So I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. I still prefer the cassette style. So that's OPKs. Vitamin wise, I'm still taking the Black Balls Conceive Well Gold um, for preconception. Um, these you take two capsules a day and I like them. Um, I know a lot of women like in Australia take Ali Beat and that sort of stuff and they're great but it was only since I um, they've changed the, the recipe or something I've seemed to have a reaction to them. So I've gone to Black Moors can see well and I'm happy with that. Also this cycle I'm taking Vitex which also from Blackmores, and I'm hoping this can help me with my cycles as it, you know, regulates your menstrual cycle, and um, I've heard nothing about, nothing but good things about it, so fingers crossed. Um, a notebook to record and to keep, like, all your OPKs, I keep 
I don't know if you can see. There we go. I keep all my OPKs from every cycle that I've been TTC in. So I just keep them there and pregnancy tests as well is all there. I didn't do any last month, but it's my August one. So you can see I've got, there we go, all my OPKs down there. They're the other ones I've been used, I've been trying. I didn't really like them and once again the only OPK that picked it up was the expensive ones that got my ovulation and the pregnancy test which was no good. Um, also I use um, lubrications. I'm using silk which is fantastic and I've heard that it's it's really good for TTCing because it's natural. It doesn't interfere with um, the semen or anything like that. And it's also like a citrus based, which is really good if you're wanting to TTC a girl. Just to, if, for anyone that kind of sways. And I mix it in with the Conceive Plus, which um, it's formulated to assist conception. It's pH balanced and sperm friendly. Um, the reason why I mix the two is because of the citrus base in this one. This one's very, um, oh, I, can't see, um, I can't think of the word, but it's very, um, oh, I'm just going mind blank, sorry. Um, but anyway, it's, it promotes sperm adhesion to the eggs. It includes calcium and magnesium and it's pH and electrolyte balance to match the semen. But it's really, really, really sticky, which I guess it's like that to help with the the eggs, it's like to adhere to the eggs, but it's like super sticky. It's super sticky. Um, so, whereas this is really watery, and so I just mix the two together. And that seems to be working fine. And I think the number one thing that I love for TTC is my husband. I don't think I could do it without him. <laughs> so that's my hubby and that's my daughter when she was a baby. So definitely my husband to TTC. So if you have any other questions feel free to comment below or inbox me. I hope you enjoy this vlog and I shall talk to you all soon. Bye.